Some of these bulls as they come through are just like he found something right there. He'll find a stone embedded in their feet. He'll pull it out or a abscess in there that he'll treat. Overall, we can keep their feet in a lot better shape by doing this once a year. If you go three or four years or several years, sometimes those little embedded stones or cracks in their feet get really sore and start to bother them. Well, today we're down here at the Wright Ranch. We brought all the bulls on the ranch together to get their feet trimmed. Uh, we got some footage of that earlier, but uh, we have the Hereford bulls on this side and the Angus bulls on that side. Uh, you might hear some bull noise behind us because they, they aren't used to being together, so they're kind of trying to decide who's toughest between the fence there. But one of the reasons we um, bring the bulls and trim their feet is because the, the, the dollars that these bulls are worth it, it, is a lot, and so we try to maintain them the best that we can and, and create it so that they can be with us for as many years as they can and have the best quality of life possible. And um, so today we're just taking care of their feet. A lot of times as they walk around um, in, in wet and dry and all the different um, circumstances they're in, they get little cracks in their feet and they might get an embedded stone in there or a crack that gets a little infection or an abscess. And so uh, by what we're doing today, we can find those abscesses and clean that up and let their feet heal. Um, and then also just with age, just kind of like uh, fingernails or toenails, their, their hooves grow. And a lot of cattle can kind of naturally maintain their hoof length um, because they're just out traveling all the time and um, in, in the gravel and the sand and turned out mm -hmm. But as these bulls are kind of well taken care of, um, they're, they're in small pastures and stuff, and sometimes their feet get a little long. So we trim those down and keep them square and, and, and straight so that they, they have a, the, the, best, the best opportunity of being sound for the longest amount of time. Um, so it's pretty simple with the grinder on that uh, that he uses to trim those up. The, the blade on there just kind of looks like a little cheese grater, and, and he just can shave shave that hoof hoof material off um, in a really easy manner, um, and then if he finds something that's of concern, then he has to go a little bit deeper or um, use his hoof knife to dig in there and trim that out. If we find something where it's um, abnormally deep, if it's not just superficial or something that they can, he can clean out fine, then we can pack it with some medicine and we'll wrap it. And, and again, do what we can to, to get that bull to be healthy and sound as possible.